A lot of the questions we've been asked is what is Ozobot and how do I use it? So I'm here today to show you how to use Ozobot. On the left side of your Ozobot, and you'll see it light up, it's ready to play. Now I'm gonna show you how to create your own playground. The first things you'll need are a white sheet of paper and some markers. We recommend that you use a thicker marker, but if you don't have one, that's okay. To really use Ozobot's color language, you'll need a black, blue, red, and green marker. The first thing you're gonna to wanna to do is draw a line on the paper, and you wanna make sure it's at least five millimeters thick so that Ozobot can recognize it. So now that you've learned the basics, I'm gonna teach you how to draw a code. First, we're gonna start off with a black line, and then we're gonna draw in a U-turn code. Just remember that in order for the code to work, you need to have black at the very beginning and the end of the code, and then the code in the middle. Now we'll turn on Ozobot. And he just read your code. That was one of the many codes that Ozobot reads and recognizes. For a full list of our codes, you can go online to ozobot.com. Now you're ready to go off and make your own playgrounds. And don't forget to share your creations with us.